How can it be the Schumer shutdown when Republicans control the White House, uh, the House, and the Senate? Well, come on, you know the answer to that as well as anybody. I mean, I, I, la I have to laugh when people say that, oh, we control the House and the Senate and the White House, why can't you get this done? You, you know as well as anybody that it takes 60 votes in the Senate to pass an appropriations bill, right? You know that. I know that. Okay, so, so, it, so when you only have 51 right. votes in the Senate, then you have to have Democrat support in order to keep the government to fund the government. So that's the answer to your so question. The President asked Congress to come up with a solution for the Dreamers. Uh, Congress uh, was in the room, members of Congress were in the room with the President last week. Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed to be a fairly productive meeting. And then the whole process got blown up. Uh, not, and, 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 when and it Republicans seems, tried to... If I may, it, it seems that the whole process was blown up by the president's comments. When, and when so Republicans not, tried to add, to the when, Republicans tried to, when Republicans tried to add a discussion about Obamacare to the funding process in 2013, we are cre accused by Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer of inserting a non-fiscal, a non-financial issue into the spending process in order to shut the government down. How is that not exactly what is happening today? There is no reason that you have to deal with DACA this week. There's no reason you have to deal with DACA before the end of February, excuse me, the middle of February. DACA doesn't expire till March 5th. This is purely an attempt by the Senate Democrats, led by Mr. Schumer, it's why we call it the Schumer shutdown, in order to try and get a shutdown that they think this president gets blamed for. Yes, ma'am.